Welcome back. So it's Q and A time. Q and A time again. And there's a topic that I think we've not covered in videos, even though it's definitely on the site, is how quickly you can improve your eyesight. And it's actually surprisingly easy to answer that, even though if you look at the hundreds of improvement stories that we have on the site, links below, there's a pretty big degree of variance there. But in general, here's what happens. If you follow my method, specifically not a mix of what we do and other people's stuff, not what other people do. This is only specific to and myopia and how we work. So here's what happens. If you wear glasses every day, what your optometrist gave you, and you go to the optometrist once a year, and you work at a desk job, right? Like you're the most common average scenario. And if you're not, then of course, the, the, your mileage will vary, sometimes significantly. But let's just assume that you have glasses that were, were set up for you in the past year or so, you're working at a computer, you're spending a lot of time in front of screens, here's what happens. You start and you use our method, you will go lower by as much as a full diopter in the first 90 days. And that is because because I'm amazing. No, that's not why. You go down by a whole, as much as a whole day up there in the first about 90 days because one, it is very likely that you weigh more minus than you need, according to me, not according to mainstream optometry. You're, you're wearing more minus than you need to see 2020. And that's a whole nother big topic. Suffice it to say that that to see clearly, to pass a driver's license exam, which is 2040 in a lot of places. So to see a lot better than to pass a driver's license exam, to see as well as the average adult human does, you probably are wearing currently more minus than you need. So that's, that's number one. Number two, and to, to that effect, number one, there's, there's absolutely zero magic there. There's, I'm not doing anything. You're just, you're making your own choices about how strong your glasses need to be. And you're probably realizing once you go through the initial stages of the process that you're wearing more than, than you should. So there's, so far we did nothing other than fix the overcorrection. That's part of that whole first diopter. The second part is ciliary spasm. You're, you're focusing muscle in your eye. And that's a whole other topic if you're not familiar. Links below, other videos. But basically, close-up strain is a notable contributing factor to your current myopia. And the reason for that is you're just spending a lot of time up close and you have the wrong habits. So after you spend a few months with my method, you're still going to spend a lot of time up close. Nothing changes there. We adjust some habits, we adjust some lens use, and that tends to reduce your focusing muscle spasm quite a bit, which adds to that initial first diopter reduction. So half and half, it varies by person, but that's about what we're looking at. So you have less close-up ciliary spasm and you're wearing glasses that are enough without having more correction than you need. So that's that first diopter 90 days and that feels amazing and it's motivating and it's encouraging and it's, it's something other methods hook you with because you can basically drop quite a bit off of your lens needs by getting rid of overprescription, by getting rid of, of, of close-up spasm. And there's lots of ways to do that. You don't need to use my method for that. But here's where people like, a lot of times people come to me and they're like, well, I started with this thing, not our thing, but other stuff, and it worked really great in the beginning and then I didn't stick with it and blah. This is why, because 
you're fixing over prescription, you're fixing some of your close-up spasm, you're not developing better habits, and you can't, there's no progression from there because this first part, the first diopter is, is easy to do. The rest of it is the actual length of your eyeball, right? Your eyeball elongates. As you wear stronger and stronger glasses over the years, the, the eyeball elongates. So another long story, links below, blah. To reduce that length, which science says, and we've seen thousands of times, is true. Again, links below for that. On average, we're talking about 0.75 diopters a year. So the average person, and that's talking about a decade or more of my experience with students, the average is a little bit less than one diopter a year. Students improve after the first diopter. So one, you 90 days, you're getting, wow, amazing improvement. And then that, that improvement rate kind of plateaus and it just slows down. And then you're looking at, you're reducing a quarter diopter every three to four months while maintaining the same visual acuity. So you look at the eye chart, you have a quarter diopter reduction after 90 days, three to four months, you're back to the same numbers you were before the reduction. Average, because it comes in spurts. This is not like a completely linear process, but that's about what you're looking at. So 0.75 diopters a year, some do it much, much faster, different circumstances. Sometimes it's difficult to explain how it works and how it happens, but those are kind of the outliers. The common normal thing is you change your habits, you don't have to get into eye exercises, you don't have to change your life any, you're just developing better habits, better routines, better lens use, and your vision improves by 0.75 doctors a year. If it's less than that, you're doing something wrong. Like 0.75 is great. If you're doing better than that, awesome. If you're doing less than well than that, then something needs to be addressed. And that's all, that's all you're doing, right? Like upfront is the effort of learning the basics, which you get that initial reward for. I mean, you're making great improvements in the first 90 days. You're also learning a ton of stuff. You're adjusting your habits, you're adjusting your routines, you're adjusting your lens use. And then that carries you forward through however long it takes to get back to 2020. And that by and large doesn't involve any effort. This isn't like going to the gym or maintaining some strict diet. It's just, you build the habits in the first few months and those habits carry you through the years. And it's just every three or four months, you need a little bit less correction, a little bit less correction till eventually you're at 2020. And there's, there's a couple other bumps in there. Like once you had low myopia, that last diopter and a half or so is a little funky, different subject, but that's what you should expect. If you're doing all the right things for yourself, you taught yourself what you need, you're doing your own work, that's how you get back to 2020. And if you have questions, YouTube commenters are not always the most brilliant part of my audience. Um, but if you have questions, the first stop should be in myopia. Again, I've reduced my own myopia from minus five doctors to 2020. I've helped thousands of students, so I have some idea of what I'm talking about. And most of what I'm talking about, link below, is on the site and in the blog, not necessarily in these videos. Hope you enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.